The great thing about pivot charts is that you, know, you can connect them with slicers and you can use this to create a good looking dashboard. And we're gonna try to build the dashboard in two separate steps. So in the first one, we'll create um, two pivot charts on the basis of the pivot tables we've got uh, here in the sheet slicer pivot charts. And um, then I'll show you how to connect slices with them as well as how to create a nice looking uh, dashboard on the basis of this. So. Please open file attached to the lecture, which is called Size Density Analysis Version 5 Slicer and Pivot Charts Empty. And here you will find two pivot tables. In one, we've got the space by formats, and in the other one, we've got the front margin also by formats. We're going to exclude the new format. So, this is something we have created for the purpose of this course at some point. So, the first step will be to create a pivot chart connected to the pivot tables. So let's create for the first one. So we go to pivot tables, then pivot chart, and he asks us to add. Let's pick the column. And this is what we've got. To make it look a little bit nicer, we're gonna remove the total. And also it doesn't make sense. And instead of the greet, we'll just add with the right click the data labels. And I'll also make it bold the names. We can also add here the name of the axis. So so let's go to access titles and pick the horizontal one. So this will be space in square meters. Let's make it bold. And we have done the first chart. For the second chart, we will use something similar. So let's pick again pivot tables, tools menu, then go to pivot charts. Instead of picking this one, we'll go for the such bars. And there we've got the second chart. Again, let's make it look a little bit nicer. We remove the title, which is above, and then here. Actually, maybe should return the title. As in previous example, we remove the grid and we remove the axis. We right click the mouse and then add date tables. And last, it's to add the title of the chart. So we go to the plus here above and uh, axis titles and we pick the horizontal and this will be percentage front margin and again let's bold it so we've got two charts and now what we would like to do is add two slices one which will be responsible for playing with the years in which data were taken and the other one connected with the fact that we have different cities so we go to pivot tables tools then analyze and then insert slicer and let's put years. So we've got years here. Let's make it look a little bit nicer. So we're gonna increase the number of columns. And this you do by going to slicer tools options and then columns and let's make them three. To make it a little bit bigger. And there we have it. And now what happens is that since we added the slicer just to the first one, so the, with the space, if I move this, so I pick specific years, this will affect only the first chart. It will not affect the second chart. If I want to affect this slicer both charts, I have to press twice on the slicer, then pick options. And then here we've got report connections. And he will show you to which pivot tables this slicer is connected. If you press this, you will see that uh, he shows us all the pivot tables we've created. We would look just at the ones which are in this sheets of slicer pivot charts. And let's pick it. So there it is. And as you can see, it's just connected to one of them. Let's make it connected to both of them. So we press click here and OK. And now if I change the years, you can see that both charts, the one on the right and the one on the left is moving. So we've got something which we can use to play with the charts to influence the charts. So it is uh, something we're going to use later on to build the dashboard. So in the next lecture, I'll show you how to create a dashboard using what we have learned in this lecture. So in the previous lecture, we created two pivot charts on the basis of two separate pivot tables, and then we connected the slices. So it works with the two pivot charts on the one on the left and the one on the right. So if I change the year here, the data will change on both of them. So we will do exactly the same thing, but with different slicer. And then on the base of this, we'll try to create a nice looking dashboard. So let's introduce another slicer. This time around, it will be a slicer where we will add the cities. So let's start maybe with adding this to this pivot table. 
So again, analyze and then insert slicers. And this time we pick cities. Let's make them look a little bit nicer. So maybe we will change the colors. And then we'll also increase the number of columns. So make them, let's say, six. Make it a little bit bigger. And as in the previous case, we have to, since this is connected just to the pivot table with the front margin percentage, we have to connect it with the second pivot table, the one with the spaces, so the one which we have on the left here. So let's connect it. And again, we have to find first the sheet. So again, slicer pivot charts, it is connected to the pivot table 26, which is this one. And then let's connect it to the second one in this sheet. And now if I change the city, you can see that both of them move very nicely. So in the next lecture, I will show you how to make it a little bit look nicer than what we've got here. But we already have a nice looking dashboard so we can play with the years and with the cities in order to get a nice looking charts here above. In the previous lecture, we have created uh, those pivot charts and connected them with the slicers. And now let's make it look more like a dashboard. So first of all, let's hide the pivot tables, which are here. We're going to just group the space below them and hide it. Now let's make those uh, pivot charts and slicer not stand out that much. We're going to do it by changing the color of the background behind into white. And as you can see, we've got it. And now let's work a little bit on the slicer. So they are roughly at the same line as the pivot charts. And we're going to move this one a little bit above. And we're almost done. Now it would be good to add some title. So let's add three rows here. And then let's add a shape of a rectangular where we're going to put the title. Yeah, and now we just center this and we increase the size to 20. To make it look a little bit nicer, we also will remove the outline of this box and we're gonna have no outline here yeah so we are done so we have a nice looking dashboard with two charts and then we can play with the slicers which will be impacting each and every pivot chart one last remark with the slicers obviously you can do also multi-selection so if you press here on the multi-select you can have more than one year and the same goes for the cities if i multi-select here then obviously i can add more cities if I want. So play with the results, try to do it on your own and uh, see how it does look like. If you need to check, just uh, download the file with the solution which is attached to the lecture.